Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the final part of this experiment where we're going to take a look at what would happen if you destroyed Man United. Now of course we have already destroyed United. As you can see they dropped all the way down into League 2 but they've since recovered with three promotions in four years and then making it into the Premier League before getting relegated in 19th place. They came back to the Championship and won the playoff again which means they'll be back in the Premier League for next season. Now what we going to do today to try and see how this goes is go forward five years at a time but I think in total we'll probably go 20 years ahead so we'll see how they do five years from now if they've managed to stay in the Premier League or not and then we'll keep going on to see where they end up it won't be as in detail as previous ones have been this is just going to be a wrap up see how their transfers go on see if they win any competitions um, and just see how the club progresses and if they can return to the glories of the Sir Alex Ferguson era. So let's go forward five years now and see where they are. Well, we are now five years into the future. As you can see, still got a 20,000-seater stadium, still got a sand pitch, but they do have Victor Wanyama in charge of the team, so an excellent appointment there. This is where we left off last time. They finished third Won the playoff, got back into the Premier League, but they did get relegated in 20th place. Then they finished third again, but still managed to get promoted. Uh, won the champ? Uh, no, they didn't get promoted that year, sorry. Then the following year, won the championship, which is their highest honour other than a playoff win uh, since this huge fall from grace. And then they finished 16th last season, avoiding relegation, their best place finish in this experiment. Um, but this season, it looks like things haven't gone too well. So let's have a look at their senior squad schedule and drop back a couple of seasons here to let's start with the 27-28 season when they were back in the Premier League things went pretty badly I mean horrendously at this point here so many defeats in a row but won in the quarter final of the Carabao Cup an 86th minute winner doing the business for them um, drew in the FA Cup drew in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final uh, with Arsenal 2-2 at the Emirates and this in the midst of a horrendous losing streak um, they then managed to beat Huddersfield to make a fourth round but in the second leg of the Carabao Cup final they did lose they were 3-0 down in nine minutes which they did well to get two goals back and maybe the comeback was on when they got that second goal but it wasn't enough they were knocked out the FA Cup too and as we know they did eventually get relegated in the championship the following season things went a little bit better for them still didn't get promoted uh, but through in the FA Cup into the fifth round through there as well won in the FA Cup quarter finals as a championship club winning it on penalties after a 120th minute equaliser um, and then in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, they beat West Ham 2-0. So as a championship club, they made it all the way to the FA Cup final. And in that final, they lost 2-0 to Chelsea. But they did so, so well to make it that far. As close as they've come to a major honour um, since we destroyed the club. Now the following season, still in the championship, much better results here. They did win the league this time, remember. Knocked out the Carabao Cup though, but do win the FA Cup again before being knocked out by MK Dons, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, and as you can see through this period, they did eventually get promoted back into the Premier League. Um, and as you can see here, started off really, really badly. Knocked out the Carabao Cup too, but started to put together a couple of wins uh, won in the FA Cup third round and then this little recovery in form really helped them um, won in the FA Cup fourth round replay through in the fifth round against Ipswich before losing at the court final stage to West Ham on penalties which is unfortunate but a nice recovery in form at the end of the season saw them escape relegation um, but it didn't last long and in the following season lots of defeats popping up all over the place they seem to love the FA Cup knocked out by Spurs this time in the fifth round Really bad losing streak in the second half of the year from January onwards where they only actually won two matches and one of them was in the FA Cup. So um, not a very good performance there which did ultimately lead to them getting relegated as you can see from the Premier League table if it will load up. They did actually get relegated by just three points. So all those defeats at the end of the season really, really hurt them because one more win and they may well have avoided relegation. So unfortunate that they've dropped back down. But if we have a look um, at their finances and the rest of it for the club, I don't think it's all gloom and doom. Decent reputation. Uh, bank balance. Uh, is that all right? £82 million. Not bad. Bit of transfer budget. 
Um, and their facilities have recovered quite well as well. Uh, so let's go forward five more years and see if they've managed to establish themselves in the Premier League. Well, five years ahead, and you can see that they did manage to establish themselves in the Premier League a little bit after relegated in 18th place. They came back with a second place finish, managed to finish 15th, then 16th, but did ultimately get relegated again, bottom of the Premier League table. Um, but they finished second in the Championship, so they're back in there. But they are reminding me a little bit of West Brom with this constant bobbing up and down without ever settling they have got a new stadium they finally got a grass pitch they've got the alex ferguson park uh, which means that they finally have managed to get a grass pitch and a brand new stadium 31,000 seater and maybe this could really really help them because they've got superb youth facilities now youth level up to two um, excellent training facilities and top corporate facilities. So the money may well start rolling in for them after that huge upgrade. So we'll have to see if they manage to get there. When did they move to the Sir Alex Ferguson Parks? So it's say 2035, so two years ago they moved there when they were in the Premier League. They have since been relegated though, which is not a good sign. Uh, be interesting to know how much debt they've got, but unfortunately it doesn't show you on the screen anymore. Their finances are okay though which is interesting but let's have a quick look at their senior squad schedule going back to the 32-33 season when they did very well in the championship through the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup lost to Swansea in the first leg um, and drew in the second leg to get knocked out very close to another final at Wembley there um, and ultimately did manage to get promoted in second place back in the Premier League they did go out of the Carabao Cup early very mixed form but a few wins possibly enough as well 2-1 in the FA Cup fifth round, sees them into the quarterfinal where they were beaten by rivals Man City 3-1. Um, so still no cup success. The following year as well, knocked out the Carabao Cup by Man City, knocked out the FA Cup by Wolves, but again avoided relegation. Um, and then in their third consecutive season, they managed to get knocked out in the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup by Southampton, uh, through in the FA Cup, but then lost to Arsenal. So it's... I mean, it's pretty stagnant, really. They're not doing an awful lot with it. Championship went very, very well for them. They did manage to get promoted again in second place. But it's not really been that great. And if we have a look at their transfer history, you can see a lot of players going out that season. Again, money coming in. Then they spent $15 million, spent about $30 million, um, surplus the season before that, $10 million surplus that season. Uh, but it looks like they haven't spent a lot of money since this season here, which is the 31 season. So it's six years since they spent £100 million, 88 before that. Big transfer exits of that season there, £72 million going out. But 113 spent the year before that. And it looks like the money's dried up. There hasn't been any money coming in for six years, probably because of the new stadium. So it'll be interesting to see if that does help them in the long run or not, because... If we look at the club facilities now, reputation's gone up despite being relegated, but the finances are not in the best shape. Uh, but their facilities are very, very good. Uh, Corporate facilities at 19 will really help them. So we'll just have to see. Let's go forward now 10 years into the future because I just want to see if they ever manage to establish themselves or if they're going to be stuck in this limbo forever. Well, we've gone more than 10 years into the future and unfortunately things have not got better for Manchester United. They have extended their their stadium capacity to 38,000. But as you can see, they just keep on bouncing around. I think we left off in 2037 when they finished second in the championship, finished 18th and then had a few seasons in the championship before finishing second, getting relegated straight away. Then 7th, 2nd promoted, relegated 20th, and then 3 more seasons where they hit the playoff every time. Um, and then finished 12th, and they finished 11th this season as well. So they have never recovered from the huge, huge damage that we did to them over a long period of time. If we look at their competitions history, I don't think there's going to be anything too impressive here. Last FA Cup, 2016. Where's the Carabao Cup at? Uh, it's below the championship, which is interesting. But 2017, last year there. 2030 for the championship was the last big honour that they won. Um, but they've won nothing else. It's just not been a good time for United getting relegated. They've been promoted five times there, um, but relegated just as many. And it's just not worked out. For whatever reason, they've not been able to make that step up from a championship club to a Premier League club. They had this little period here where three consecutive seasons in the Premier League, but 
Even that was not enough, and it is now all over for them. And if we have a look at their transfer history, I don't think we're going to see any huge outlays here. As you can see, the money just isn't there anymore. For whatever reason, um, they don't have the money in the club that they had in the past. It's almost like the sponsorship deals ran out about 10, 15 years ago. And you can see there, 124 million leaving the club. Uh, 71 million spent the season before, 81 leaving the season before that. So it's all balancing out. It really is. They're not making a good transfer profit at any point. And if we have a look at their managers over the last few seasons and see if any of them managed to stay for any kind of period of time, then you can see that most of them last in barely a year, two years here, one year, less than a year, one year, two years. Nobody has managed to stay for a very long period of time. You had Victor Wanyama managed to stay for four years, which was quite impressive. Uh, further down, still nothing there. Jose Mourinho all the way back then, one year, 30 days. Um, so Victor Wanyama actually st stayed for the most amount of time. But if you sort them by league wins... Then you've got Steve Sidwell and George Saunders as the only ones to win competitions there. And then, of course, Jose Mourinho, the only manager to win any cup competitions in this save. Uh, so not anything... Oh, not in this save, but the season before this save, before we removed him from the club. So nothing really coming out of this. I don't know what else there is to look at. We can have a look at their in-game editor data. And if we look at their reputation there, 6366, it's gone down club attendance not really that great nothing in the bank balance facilities are decent but they have dropped a little bit um and yeah it's just a shame really i don't think they'll ever get out of this we have managed in a way to destroy manchester united's legacy but not necessarily as well as we might have hoped but it's also just strange that they never managed to recover uh, if we have a look at the history of the premier league's past winners just to see what happened in United absence, United's absence. Obviously, their last title win was a 12-13 season. Um, and as you can see, a huge period of glory for Chelsea. Arsenal managed to win some. Everton won the Premier League. I don't know what happened to Everton here, but they established themselves in the elite and managed to get them a Premier League title. Liverpool even managed to win two titles there. And now it's sort of bouncing around a little bit. So the league has remained reasonably competitive in United's absence but ultimately nothing great for United to celebrate so I hope you enjoyed this experiment do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying these kinds of experiments there will be a brand new one next time around in a few days time so do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for the next experiment when it comes and let me know if you've got any ideas for new ones in the comments but until next time see ya